And a very grainy, underexposed look of this film was a deliberate choice by the film's director, Robert Altman, and his cinematographer, Vilma Sigmund. They wanted the film to look like it was from the era the story was set in, so they used a new photography technique called flashing to achieve that look. They didn't get the approval to photograph it that way by the powers running Warner Brothers at that time, and the big bosses hated it when they saw some of the footage, and they demanded everything be reshot. But Altman was a clever man. He wanted it to stay exactly that way, so he blamed the look of the film on the company processing the film in Canada, where the film was being shot, assuring the executives back in Hollywood he'd be able to fix it in the lab when he returned to Los Angeles. Well, he had no intention of making any changes at all, kept on shooting the film the way he wanted to, knowing that the executives were too far away to do anything about it. And when he got back, it would be too late to make any changes. Well, that's one reason Robert Altman had a reputation with studios for being very difficult. Up next, another important film from the 70s, a classic film about the dying days of a small town movie house. This one unusual for its time because it's filmed in beautiful black and white at a time when color films totally dominated the movie industry. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Ben Johnson and Cloris Leachman are Oscar winners thanks to The Last Picture Show. Then Martin Scorsese portrays life on the mean streets and Laurence Olivier agrees to never disagree in perfect understanding. 